everybody it's Ann I'm back and it is Saturday morning oh my goodness at 8 15 here in lovely Oregon which means for some of you it's much later or much earlier depending on where you're at anyway since my buddy Angie from 4F Beauty questioned my age a little bit I figured I would come on and try and give you guys a look at what my face looks like in the morning let me see if I'm in focus here before I do things like put on moisturizer and all that lovely stuff which I normally do before I get on the camera now <laughs> I believe I may appear to be a little closer to what you expect for 60 without the moisturizer because the wrinkles they just stay <laughs> the wrinkles stay you can actually see the elevenses I've never really had a problem that much with the elevenses unless I'm really really annoyed and then I still only get kind of a one and a dot um got all kinds of pores my nose is a wreck you see this bit of texture here that's from having to wear a CPAP mask at night so that I can breathe I have really bad apnea so I wear a CPAP at night and the straps come across and sit on my face here and here so I get texture and extra wrinkles <laughs> anyway I bet ya I'm a little more easy to peg for my age now yeah I'm freshly out of the shower and just got dressed and haven't done the first diddly squat for my face including just basic moisturizer I have always had these little bumps on my nose and shouldn't do that you know but I have a combination going on here I have a little bit of the Celtic red face going on and I have some spots here and there that come from autoimmune issues so yeah I've, I've, I've kind of got a combination I've got the rosacea and I've got autoimmune issues that leave little scars on my face like this one some of them are kind of small and faded there's one mm -hmm. but some of them have kind of stuck around for a bit I haven't even brushed my hair yet it's still wet haha <laughs> Now that I did moisturize, it's got I've got the anti-brassing conditioner since I bleached my hair a bit to get the blonde back. I was born toe-headed, you know, absolutely white blonde like some of this that that's in here, and it eventually got darker. 
and I was, spent my teenage years at that lovely honey blonde wheat stage that was just absolutely adorable with the big blue eyes. All right, they're not that big, but they're very blue. And then I went through the stages of light mouse and dark mouse. And now, if I haven't had it out in the sun, everything down near the roots is kind of a muddy brown. But I've got a lot of silver coming in. But one of the reasons I keep my hair so short is this right here. That's some of the breakage that happens with some autoimmune issues. And I've got patches here and there where there's not really a lot of hair. And if I've got my head shaved down on the sides, it's not as easy to spot the fact that there's hair missing because there's none to see. Which is why I shave my hair down on the sides I try and leave some on the top even though I occasionally have to do things like put clip-on hair here and there to be able to do some different styles yep there's some more wrinkles see I have wrinkles here and there I have a few anyway now that I've futzed around this way, I'm going to drag my moisturizers out and do a little repair work here. But I'm going to move you back first. I don't know, maybe I'll leave you set right here, right in my face. We'll see. See, I have a webcam. Which is, a be which is a better camera than my phone was. Because my phone was not a very fancy, like, iPhone or anything. But, the only way to draw you in any is to literally pull the camera closer. Now I've got a rather interesting setup that was originally for my phone. It's got a little ring light on it and it's got a little stand that will hold your phone or whatever else you can manage to put on the little stand. I spent about 15 bucks on Amazon to get this little contraption. And it just, it clamps onto the edge of a desk or whatever. We have a piece of salvage that was originally part of a marble fireplace surround that's got some lovely, lovely carving in it. It's just heavy enough that I can clamp this camera rig to and it'll hold up as a counterbalance and while it's holding up as a counterbalance I've got the ability to slide it around and back and forth and that kind of thing so it works out pretty well That's my hubby bringing the doggie back in after he gave the little bitty one a bath. He needed it. Mm. 
So we had puppy toes on the floor. And if you hear the fan, that, you know, it's starting to get warm here in the high desert. So let this settle in for a bit. Now, what I'm going to attempt to do today is going to be a pride look based on the bisexual flag. Instead of doing the whole rainbow, I'm picking one portion. and listening to my dog run under my feet. <laughs> Silly puppy. He gets really excited after a bath. He has to run around and show everybody he is clean now. It is so much fun. Let's see. Put a little lip goo on. This is just a little bit of lip balm. The moisturizer that I used is one of the Korean snail moisturizers. It says French snail on it, but it's actually from Korea. And I love this stuff. It is absolutely amazing. So now we're going to have a tussle on the bed with the doggies. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm warm, which means I'm going to sweat. Like it or not. Now, I've also got this, which is Ole Hendrickson Banana Eye Cream that came in one of my Ipsy bags. So, yeah, it's a little t 90 thing. Or did this one come in one of the Sephora plays that I picked up as... They had them on clearance because they had a few leftovers. I don't know. It could have been either one. Anyway, probably Sephora. This stuff's expensive. Yes, I am like dotting it. Finny, shush. Could we not? It's like I dot that stuff on because I'm not ready to let it go yet. There's not that much left in that little pot, but yeah, I'm going to keep using it until it's completely gone. Alrighty. This is one of the things I have a problem with when it comes to putting on makeup. There are so bloody many layers. Just so many. A little lash serum. Yes, I put some lash serum on before I do my eye makeup and then I put some lash serum on when I go to bed after I clean everything off because it's working and if you don't once you get started using a lash serum, if you want to keep 
these long eyelashes that you can manage to acquire you can't stop you just you can't because if you stop so do they which is really annoying it's like you start going but but I had eyelashes And every so often, since my eyebrows are also responding to this stuff, I go through and have to pluck some of the ones that get like way down. Or some of the ones that decide to climb for the ceiling and go way up. Now, while that settles in, I'm going to get out my sample of Super Goop SPF 50, and I'm going to zap my dogs in a minute. Guys, really? See what I get for wanting to do something early in the morning when they're not taking their afternoon nap. That was one of their chew toys that they've decided they wanted to throw. My beloved husband has taken the doggies away. Away, 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 little doggies. Okay, now, I put other forms of SPF on the rest of this. I use the super goop on the face because it works well on the face. I actually have an SPF 70 as a spray that I use to literally hose down my little naked head, especially if I've had a fresh shave. And then I hit the shoulders and the decollete, da 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 da, to make sure I've got everything covered. Because I burn. Oh, my nose is still on. Yeah, I know. I look like I've been on a bender. My nose is bright red. Anyway, let me get my colors out here. Now, I'm going to use Bad Habit Dream State because there's some sparkly stuff in here I want to use. And I'm going to use Beauty Creations Elsa. And... I'm probably going to use the Beauty Glazed Strelitzia to pull my colors together for this look. And since I like bright, I've got my AOA Studio Wonder Cover in white. This stuff is a buck and has been the best stuff I have laid hands to. Yes, 
I stick to stuff that I like. And after all of the hoop faru that is going on with um, <clears throat> certain big names new lipsticks, I'm really, really even more determined to stay away from big names as I can afford it. I want to start picking up some of the indie brands that are in the more affordable ranges. But, yeah, the big names, I'm, I'm not going to stress them, stress over them. If I don't got them, I will make do with my beauty glazed and my bad habit and my face candy and amuse and clean color and whatever else comes to hand that I can afford. Yeah, being able to afford some of the big names yeah it would be nice but that's not where my budget works and I have found that among these other more affordable manufacturers I am finding stuff that works just fine. It's pigmented. It's blendable. It doesn't break my wallet. And I have never once in all the stuff that I bought from some of these quote unquote cheap places had anything come at me with a black hair this long in it. Yeah, I saw one of those on one of the, the YouTubes on the great lipstick scandal. So, yeah. I'll stick to my quietly off-brand manufacturers in the less expensive section. And everybody else can go on about themselves. with the big names and such. Maybe someday I'll have a million or so subscribers and I can afford this stuff, but that's not yet. Alrighty, got my white base on. Got a little bit of it under the under the eyes and yes I've got a little stuff right along the edge where I had put down the serum for the eyelash serum stuff and it just I've got a little over ambitious because I don't want it to be all day at this in particular and I didn't let it finish settling down and drying in completely, so I've, it, it's kind of mixed now with the color base, or what I'm using for a color base. 
and it got a little lumpy. Who me? Make a mistake? Make an error? Oh, say it ain't so, huh? Now, I'm going to remind you, I use little brushes because my eyes are hooded. If I'm looking straight at you, the top lid folds down and covers the mobile lid. It just disappears in that mess. And I only have this little tiny fine line that's about that big where that's between the the fold and the eyelash line. That's it for my ability to have any real estate on the mobile lid. So, and if you've seen some of my other pictures, you've seen, it's like I smile and open my eyes wide and, 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 and go to show off and the only thing you can see is from that, the bottom of that fold up to here. The rest of it looks like my eyelashes are just right there and there's nothing but that this section here so I use itty bitty little brushes so that I can get into this itty bitty little space I'm going to start with a fairly dark blue and it's called Blitz Blue. And this is in the Strelitza. Now, if you like any of these colors, I will bet you if you go through your collection, if you've been buying eye makeup for a while, I will bet you, you probably have colors in your collection already that are going to work just as well as these. I mean, it's a basically reflex blue right here. It's just a nice, rich, medium blue. Now, if you have seen the buy flag, you will have noticed that it is pink on one side blue on the other and comes together to form a violet band between the two majority colors. So I'm going to see how well I can do doing that basic flag as an eye look. And the reason I'm going to use these other palettes is because as you can see, the base blue from Strelitza, which again is that reflex blue, 
is kind of gray when you put it on a white base. And I want to darken this side up, this area, the outer corner, I want to darken it up with some other blues, which means I'm going to be digging into the other palettes. But I like the idea of laying this out with this paler blue so it gives me a little bit of room to work and start laying in other colors as I go further across. Now in the inner corner, I think I'm going to go with, since that'll be the pink side, I'm thinking I want to go with a really pale shimmer pink in the corner and then bring it out darker from there. Clean off my brush. Pick up Elsa. Now, unfortunately, the Elsa palette doesn't have color names. It's just colors, no color names. And it's a fairly extensive palette. We got quite a few different colors in here. I've never counted it. Didn't bother. Anyway, the blue I'm now using is this one, which is pretty much a cobalt and has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Since I'm not spritzing it, it's not really going for the foil routine. Now, I want to remind people, I normally wear glasses. I don't currently own contacts. So I am mostly doing this pretty close to blind. It's very difficult for me to see. So don't expect absolute identical shapes. Because couple not being able to see with the fact that People's eyes are not symmetrical. I don't care who you are. Your eyes are not symmetrical unless somebody made them that way. So, you know, and it may measure that way, but it's not really going to be symmetrical even if somebody did a little surgery.
it just is not going to work. It doesn't happen. Nobody's face is symmetrical, whether they like it or not. Your eyes don't sit in exactly the same place on each side of your face. Your eyes are not identical in size. Lay my violet in here. Because, yeah, I could try and do the purple band by mixing the pink and the blue in the middle but that leaves a little too much up to chance and I've never been that trusting even of my own self And what I'm thinking about doing when I finish the eye look and the rest of my makeup is I've got some clip-on hair in party colors. And well, most of the party colors anyway. And the other day, when I did my first rainbow look, I had my party hair clipped in. But it was missing something. The pack of hair that I got, which unfortunately was an order, And it was from someplace far enough away I can't just run out and go get another one. It's an Amazon order. And the blessed thing had absolutely no yellow. I'm really, really, really annoyed with that part. I really am. I wanted my Lello so that I could do my pride flag properly. Now, there's another company that's got you can get individual pieces. I got this as a set. It came with brights and then pastels and I was going okay I did the brights first but I was I was PO'd because there was no yellow however the green is kind of a neon kind of limey green so it was close enough that when I tucked it between the red and the orange and well actually between the orange and the blue it looked almost yellow enough to make it look like I had a yellow in there So I had my red, my orange, and then I snuck that kind of interesting green in. And that worked out pretty okay. I'm not sure how it's going to look this time because I'm going to use the pastels. This is just a clean brush that I'm kind of floofing through things. It's like some people like really defined breaks 
and some people like it a little more blended and I'm going for blended today it kind of depends on what you're doing now when I did the regular rainbow the first rainbow I was a little more defined break going with it instead of doing a blend I'll clean this up in a little bit when I go to do the face and all that Blue is kind of gotten a little lost on this side. We'll just tap you in some more. Darken this back up just a little. Now, I still haven't figured out what it is I think I want to do under the lashes. I mean, after all, you must put something under the lashes now and again. But right now, I'm going to get my spritz bottle ready. Take the little cap off. That keeps it cleaner. It's like, okay, yeah, it's a dollar store spritz bottle but <laughs> I'd rather have it clean oh look the doggies are back now the dream state palette is nothing but glitter And what I think I may do hmm. I think instead of spritzing I think I really do think on occasion I really do think I think I want my glitter glue instead of the spritzer see glitter well glitter primer it says it's worked for me pretty well so far so Stuff is almost thick enough and dark enough to do a bloody cut crease with. Except I don't normally do cut creases because of my very foldy eyes. I may try it at some point, but not today. their little romp in the yard and seem to be doing much better for being calm. Yay! Calm puppies. So 
Some of the scronking and squeaking you hear is my husband in his chair at the computer. He has a scronky, squeaky kind of chair. up the other side And yes, I keep picking up little bitty brushes like this just for this kind of thing. Little bitty brushes. going and uh, brush wash as soon as we're done here. I am not letting that little bitty brush get wrecked because I like my little bitty brushes. Now believe it or not I collect lots and lots of different brush sets. But, no, I don't pay a lot of money. It's still the same kind of thing. I'm not going to put a ton of money into a brush set with somebody's name on it when I can get ye old no-name brush set for a lot less expensive and it works just fine. Some of my brush sets I pick up from AliExpress. I just look for the synthetic brushes and go right on about it. Or I go to some place like the drugstore that carries the e.l.f. brushes. I love me some e.l.f. brushes. The ones that I use the most often, like these, the little crease brushes, they're a dollar. Health brushes, dollar. Or I go to AOA Studio. No, none of this is sponsored. I'm just telling you stuff, okay? It's good for you. Pay attention. This is the AOA Studio F19 highlighter brush. One of my favorite things. This is an absolutely amazing brush. It's soft. It's flexible. It'll put a highlight on your cheek. So absolutely perfectly. It's a dollar. AOA brushes are a dollar. Certified, cruelty-free. The brush I use to put the base on. It's the AOA Studio High Def E107. 
dollar. Have a look around. You can find some stuff that will not be quite so obnoxious to try and create your collection and not break your bank. All right, this part has taken quite long enough because I've been very chatty. And we did, in fact, start from scratch with absolutely nothing on my mug. And we have put the whole eye, except for the finishing touches on, I'm going to get me a wipe and clean up this stuff just a little bit. Get it all floofed and such. And I will be back probably with most of the rest of my face on and we will see where it goes from there I may even have to speed some of this stuff up because I'm looking at the timer now and it's saying it's about an hour so yeah I've been yakking and painting and painting and yakking see you in a bit Alrighty, I'm back. Pretty much got everything finished up. A little blush. A little bronzer. A little eyeliner. A little lipstick. A little mascara. A little of this, a little of that. But, yeah, once you get everything on, it makes it a little more difficult to see all the wrinkles which is just fine by me gives me a little more confidence what do you think now I don't have the extra hair in yet like I said this one was getting a little long not the hair the video Anyway, I will probably be strolling down the street in a little bit with this all over my eyes and go chase my Pokemon. No, really, I chase Pokemon. It's a good excuse to get out and walk. Besides, the game tracks how, how much mileage you do. Well, how many clicks you do. So far, so good. If you're new to the channel, I hope you like what you saw and you hang around. If you're back, thank you. And as always, there is no bail money. Be good. <laughs>